This is a work of political and social commentary. The content of this video is not meant for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. January 14th was the night of the last primary debate in Iowa for the Democratic candidates. Anyone expecting to see fireworks was likely disappointed. So much so, in fact, that some took to social media to generate the fireworks. That's right, the Bernie Bros and I'm With Her 2.0 were lit on Wednesday morning. And even though I found the debate boring, that's worth some roasted opinions. This debate wasn't likely to change many minds in Iowa during the run-up to the caucuses on February 3rd. Unsurprisingly, there was not as much back and forth as there could have been. The front runners in Iowa are trying to avoid any gaffes in the final days, and the also-rans for the most part are looking towards other states, because Iowans at this stage of the primary season have largely made up their minds. Trust me on this, I know what I'm talking about. I grew up in Iowa, and I still know quite a few people who live there. The presidential campaigns start in Iowa about 20 minutes after the polls close for the midterm elections, and that's after exploratory committees have been working for a couple of years to figure out how to expose the nation, especially people from early states like Iowa and New Hampshire, to their candidate. Iowans take their position as first in the nation in the primary season very seriously. On average, there are a lot more voters in Iowa who actively look into the candidates and try to make the best, most informed decisions on which one to support. Right or wrong, the Iowans who vote in the caucuses all have their reasons, and they all actively choose to participate in a process that takes more than a few minutes. These are caucuses, community meetings with active discussions about candidates and platforms, not merely a short trip to a voting booth. Now, Bernie Sanders is polling well in Iowa right now. So is Elizabeth Warren, though, and they are clashing over a key constituency, progressives. That showed up in the debate, with each trying to out-progressive the other. The discussion centered on typical progressive talking points, federal programs to pay for things like student loans and health care. They also discussed climate change at length during this debate. But the real fireworks started when the discussion shifted to an alleged statement made by Sanders to Warren. Did Bernie really say that a woman couldn't be elected president? Liz says that he did, and Bernie says that he didn't. A blatant play to incorporate the hashtag MeToo movement into the Democratic primaries, in my humble opinion. But the biggest loser of the night was CNN, which came out after Bernie Sanders almost like he was Donald Trump. There's been a lot of accusations of bias against the moderators of political debates for several years now. But this, holy guacamole, did CNN step in it. So now we have social media going nuts, with the Bernie bros and the I'm with her 2.0 crowd each accusing the other of being unelectable. They may very well both be right. That leaves creepy Uncle Joe and Mayor Pete. Biden was more polished than ever, although no matter how much you polish a turd, it's still a turd. But a judge sounded reasonable, but he also sounded just a bit out of touch with minority voters. And in the intersectional nightmare that is the Democratic talking points, that doesn't bode well for him either. So, who won the debate? Well, Trump was in Milwaukee singing the praises of a strong economy and his impending phase one trade deal with China to a huge highly energized crowd of fans. I personally think that he won, and do you think that I'm alone in that opinion? Um, no. Just, no.